and welcome to Let's Talk About Tomorrow on Enterprise TV. Petrina and David are unavoidably absent today, so I am your host, Fine Boy David. Today we'll be talking, we'll be discussing the topic Does parenting have a vast effect on the lives of their children? Parents can be game changers in shaping the lives of their children, regardless of whether they behave well or poorly. As role models, parents have a significant influence on their children's values, beliefs, and behaviors. In either case, they can go on to have a lasting impact on their children's future. But the question is, are parents to blame for the way their children turn out to be, even in cases where the parents are well-behaved and the children turn out spoiled and uncultured? Now, with me today, uh, Nathaniel, yeah. it's good to have you on the show. Welcome, thank you. Choma, mm. it's always nice to find your Choma. It's nice <laughs> to have you on the show. And Inyolua, this is Inyolua's first time on the show. It's nice to have you. And formidable barrister Evans. Mm. Okay. Nice mm. to have you on the show. Now, mm. to the question, does parenting always guarantee that the children's lives will turn out perfect? Uh, let's, let's start with... Uh, an example I had some an experience recently I went to visit a friend and it was an auntie to the friend so they served us food on the table and in that food there was um, a fried chicken on the food and one of the boys just walked in from nowhere he just came in inside the room and the first thing he did he didn't greet anybody he picked the you mean the, the food meant the, the for the food, visitors? Yes, for the visitors, for me and my friend. We haven't started eating. I was already started like, eating. I love meat. <laughs> you know, I love meat. So the boy picked the meat and immediately he, he chewed and he bites like three times. So I was just smiling. So the auntie walks in. He said, ah, ah. the boy's name is David. Sorry, your name. <laughs> he said, David, why, why, why did you pick that meat? He said, mommy, you didn't give me meat in our presence. And now you're giving meat to the visitors. The meat you gave us was small mommy. And when the mom tried to school this particular boy, he yelled back wow. at the mother. He didn't end there. Before we finished eating, the boy just took um the elder brother finished pressing iron in his clothes. He beat that hot iron and he came to um use the iron to press me, like to lay it on me, like as a play. <laughs> Immediately he brought I felt something hot and I held him, I said Subhana like because I shouted. Immediately I yelled, he now said that uncle, you are too scared. He started laughing. That same place. So I do feel that um parenting of a team has an effect on the children. But before we go on to some okay. how old is the person you just talk about? The boy doing this is around nine. Mm. A roughly nine. And he displayed all this. <laughs> And, and from that particular scenario, what I discovered was that the problem was from the mother. Because each time he picks something, he says, stop, stop, stop. And the mother was trying to say, stop, the boy was still doing this. And he said, and I wanted to hold the boy. He said, please don't hold my child, Rufo. That same mother in that present. You see, when poorly raised parents or children become parents, they raise another poorly raised children. When people are not ready for parenting yet and they're able to raise children, they will raise poorly raised children. And this problem is generational. Yeah. Thank you. So, Chema, what are your views? Um, first, three, four, five months, you should start teaching that child what to do and what not to do. Using his um, story as an example, the mothers overlooked, and you know, most parents will tell you, oh, you see a small child, there's a small boy, overlook. There, there's a saying that sometimes children start practicing witchcraft from. <laughs> yes, there's something called witchcraft. Witchcraft, let me give you an example. This child know, oh, if I tell my mom I want to go out, mommy will not accept. So the child will go meet daddy, and daddy will say, go. Now, that is witchcraft. Witchcraft is knowing that your mom will not accept and trying to use your dad as a mechanism to, knowing or as wrong. a door, or as a key so, okay. to perpetuate what you want to happen. Mm -hmm. That is where witchcraft starts from. That's very interesting. I'm <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> so now, that's why I advise um, couples, especially upcoming couple it's advisable most times when people come together and they decide to get married i have a school of thought that you guys should use one year at least to know yourself don't just rush into giving birth immediately because 
when you guys are dating, you don't understand yourself. There are some things people didn't discuss, and you have the opportunity to discuss and plan it out, especially if it's a couple that knows and understands that communication is key. Mm-hmm. Now, you know how you want to raise your kids and how to raise them. So when they start coming, a couple should have one mind. Even if you want to disagree, don't disagree in the presence of the kids. Why I said that witchcraft thing, for example, is sometimes the man will want to show I am the father of the house. You begin to give your kids the power to disobey your wife and not be under any law and any rule. And at that point, you're beginning to spoil the child. And when a child knows he or she can have his or her way with daddy, daddy becomes the favorite. <laughs> and when there is disunity, like when there is no unity, where there is no unity, that is where children capitalize on and they begin to support. So would you say it's a guarantee? Hmm? Would you say it's a guarantee? Now, let me tell you. It's a guarantee for me. It's a 80-20%. Should I tell you why? Mm-hmm. The truth is, I know how I was raised. And that fear is still in me today. Don't ask if it's a fear, but it's that respect. I'll call it a respect. Like knowing that there's an authority over you. Truth is, even when you are grown up, and you begin to see some things or when you're trying to conform to let me some of the western things we see now knowing where you're coming from like being raised will give you an identity that's just the truth. it gives you an identity you know where you're coming from and let me let me let me now go to the bible in a way the children of Issachar, they were raised not to drink wine not as if it's a sin, but knowing where they're coming from, they know that that is no more we do. No wonder they understood times. They understood times and since that's the truth. Knowing the way you are raised will shape you, even in a particular environment. You see some people just come, you just say, this child is different. You're able to trace it from the way they were raised, from where they are coming from. That is just the truth. It gives them an identity. And except the ones that want to go in and in a way they don't have a mind of their own, they're not easily influenced. Okay. Those are the ones that would now that you say, oh, they lost it along the way. But their conscience will always prick them. That is just the thing. It gives you a knowing, and you just have to tell the right from the wrong. And even when you're doing the wrong thing, truth be told, your conscience will prick you, except your conscience is dead. Okay. So, <laughs> what's your point of view? Okay. Um, apparently, the early stages of a child mm-hmm. is very, very important and paramount. Okay. When it comes to child raising, I give the guarantee 60-40. Okay. Because why I said the early stages is because from, like she said, five months to, should I say, seven, eight, ten. Yeah. There is still a cover over these children. There's a cover that says, okay, they are still under a particular authority. Mm-hmm. But the reason why I gave it a 60 that it is a guarantee and a 40 that it is not a guarantee is because of that ide- uh, identity that she mentioned. Okay. Now, the of course, they will live at a point. They will live. They which, live. which means their parents cannot yes. see yeah. some um, things they get into. Yeah. Now, it is that 60% that goes over like yeah. it is having an edge already yeah like a foundation yeah. Yeah, like a foundation a, uh, and like now you are yes and now you're yeah. going out so the 40 the remaining 40 percent is where they now decide to say okay do i raise the guarantee hope from that 60 percent upward oh, or should i should i stay on down? the 40 percent yeah. and bring the home training down okay so to me it is a guarantee because that space yeah is very important and parents cannot leave it void. Very true. Mm-hmm. Very true. By the like, only daddy uh, now. Like, <laughs> sure uh, uh, like we have a lot of lots of work <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um let me take it from the side of the psychologist. Okay. The psychologist said that between zero to twelve the formative years of a child. Mm-hmm. Okay. And whatever you do not teach a child to understand in vibe in court case, between zero to twelve. You can you have missed it. If you like, take the child to the mountain, soak him inside anointing oil, and bring him out. If you have not imbibed the traits of responsibility, high moral standing, okay, respect for
for people, um, developing consciousness for focus. Look, and ultimately, living an excellent life, those virtues cannot drop on anybody by prayers. Yes. Mm-hmm. It will not drop on people by mere, if you, a uh, child is left to chances. Okay. It cannot also drop on people just by influence. What easily drop on people by influence are bad traits, mm-hmm. peer pressure. Okay, mm-hmm. will have a child should be raised in such a way that he's formidable. He gets a strong balance of emotional shock absorbers okay. because the responsibility of parenting is tied to the biological responsibility of the parents. Okay, okay? but. Remind you, the child is not going to live with the parents all through his life. Mm-hmm. The child, and because parents cannot also finish the job, it's a whole lot. Yeah, that is why the parent will send the child to school. Okay. That is why the parent will send the child to a church okay. or a mosque or whatever it is. Okay. Yes. So that that institution can add to what the parents are building up. Okay. So that the school will add to it. Now, unfortunately, in that school and in that church or in that mosque, these children go there and meet foreign bodies, mm-hmm. third party, external influences. Mm-hmm. Now, the way that institution comports whatever it is the institution is inculcating in the child, and the way they guard the child, the child against the forces militating against what the child came to do there, mm-hmm. because whether you like it or not, every environment have forces militating against the purpose of that environment. Yeah, that's true. If you go, we saw in the universities, when we were in the university, some people came as courtists to tell mm-hmm. us that there's a better way to go to school. Yeah. <laughs> now, if we need security, assurance, protection, and all of that. Uh, if we need women, if we need any other thing, enough wine, alcoholism, debauchery, there's an access to it. Now, that is the force militating against the purpose of learning. Now, if this institution is not strong on its purpose on learning, the influence will overshadow it. That's true. That's true. You understand? Yes. So that is why, if you notice on parents, they make sure that they are in the decision of the kind of school their children attend. Mm-hmm. They are in the decision of the kind of churches the children attend. They are in the decision of the kind of books the children read. The children read. If you don't monitor what your children are reading, that book, they may be in your house. You will think you are in charge and you are in control. But very soon you discover that you are not, you are not in control of any human being until you are in control of his mind or what goes into his mind. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. The day you give a, a, your security a gun, a security guard in the house, the day you give him a gun, that is the day you are, you are no longer in charge. Because anything can enter him and he want to take charge. That's true. With That's that. True. So that's what I'm saying in different in the long run is that parents should be very conscious of what their children read. Yes. What they hear. Yeah. The kind of people they expose them to. If possible, if possible, they shouldn't go to just any place during holidays. Okay. If possible. If possible, don't expose them to people who will easily disturb them from the moral value you are creating. Yeah. But you know, in the long run, that is not also possible in the age we live today, yeah. where the father is working, the mother is working, yeah. and there is a house help who is a foreign body. That's true. Who is coming from somewhere with her own um, dispositions. Okay. So for, for parents to be able to sort out the avalanche of all this, the parents must be very cautious of what they are doing. If there is a way to, um, if there is a way to put house help away, I I didn't. I, there was no time I took house help. Okay. I didn't do it because I felt the foreign body. I'm not trying to castigate anyone, but I, I do not think they are coming with the purpose I have for the children and what I want to create or build. So I didn't take that. Is it possible to keep that? As I'm not discouraging people from taking out their house that will come in and add value to the house. Yeah. Okay. That will bring even values that the parents could not deliver. Yes. They will deliver it. They will de- so that's that true. This thing has no definition. 
No, it's true. It's true. You might be very fortunate mm -hmm. that the way you were raised, you just told us part of it. We don't know the details. But I have a friend who graduated together. The house help she brought was the one who moved in their house mm. and gave to the children, and they were smoking and party. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not castigating house help, but I'm saying values should be more, much more than much more than a woman. You also need to ask for help. Yeah. If you want to go spiritual, uh, if that's anything to go back here, you also need to ask for because nobody has you know. a full, compact knowledge yeah. of parenting. True. And please forgive your parents. Mm. They did their best. They tried. Well, by servants, with how strict parents are in Nigeria, we still have a lot of people who have gone astray. Yeah, because from the teachings they, of their parents. No, no, the truth is that parenting today. Parenting today, the parents think they are in charge. They are mm. not in charge of nothing. Mm. I want to, sorry, I want to in say something. In the formation age, yeah. uh, the parents are lost. True. Mm. They don't know where their children are. They are mm. just seeing them in, physically. <laughs> but uh, a lot of parents today wise, feel parenting is paying school fee. And? Raising their children, sending them to the best school and everything. The truth is, you need mm. to be physically available for okay. your children. Yeah. Mm. So sure. that you can be able to know who your child is. Because... If you don't raise your child and teach your child, somebody else will teach him or mm, Apart from that, let me come in. I'm not shorting you. You know, everybody has choices. No matter how you raise your children, they still have room for choice. In the university, you won't stay with them. That's and the more job... No, 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 See, let me tell you something. I've seen a home where the parent gives the children attention. Mm. They have to cut off work stuff and all of that. Mm. See, the major problem of this age is the media. Now, look at it. Each media, even with the su media supervision, you know, each media gives you something and takes something from you. The media is a powerful problem of today parenting, if I should bring that in. Now, no matter how you, you create time for these children, mm. especially this generation, you love them, you try to caution them, they are still going to make choice. But if, as this man says, if it's 60, 40, at least they will still be left to their choice. I, I beg to disagree with you. Should I tell you why? Okay, it's your opinion. It's for you. Mm -hmm. to say you are available for your child yes it is one thing for you to communicate it's, with your child it's, it's these true. are two different things yes now for example i believe in words of affirmation okay your child might go to school there's a lady i read her story on instagram she's someone i know like i know her her name is sunshine so okay. she was talking about how she went to school there was time she was taking last in class she would come back home her father talked to her yeah and told her i call you sunshine your name is sunshine and that is why i call you you will shine bright mm -hmm. okay. now there is a point where parents need to understand that this is my child yeah he or she might not be giving the fruits or bearing the fruits and the attributes of what i want to see in her at the moment. yeah yeah if you don't build your child's self-esteem yes. to the point where he or she knows i am loved at home mm. now this goes far back to or this even portrays the point where some ladies you see them they are in a relationship where they are even abused yes yeah, they, they stay are because of low self-esteem yeah no the i'm not i'm not i'm not shorting your point so your point is major something happened in school while i was in the university i have a roommate he, he was loved. Everything was there. The dad created time for him. The dad is not a busy person. He works from home. Everything was there. His name is Daniel. You come across the video now. Now, what happened is that we're roommates in year one. And every time the mom calls, there's love in the family. There were three. Two boys, one girl. When year one, he was doing well. He was doing physics. I was doing pure chemistry. Now, did you know at the point, this guy still deviated? There, was, there wasn't low self-esteem. There were words of affirmation. If I mom's call, that call, and I give him phone to still pick the call. Do you know what happened in year two? We parted ways because we changed to a different faculty. He joined court. Are you now telling me that? Um, see, the thing is that, let me tell you something. No matter how we pray, it's not like our parenting um, major role won't work. No matter how you pray and you play on party, children still will still decide. They, decide what they, want they will yeah, decide. Yeah, but but yeah, where, but peer pressure. Peer pressure. And the media is a, is a major platform. I know what I'm telling you. Even when we were the, even my parents, the way I was with, I grew up with a priest. Even when I went to school, I was still left. Everything just, I was still left yeah. with my choice. Even a lot of people yeah. battling with pornography things online and all of that. See, it's not easy in this generation as you think what's of our permission yeah, and all yeah, of that. Yeah, no, I think what, what, she, what, she said, what she said, like you said, yeah. affirming what she said, what she said is very critical. Yes. Because she's talking about 
the preparation preparation before stage before you meet before you and it plays a role we, we, ca- we order, can't even yeah order. it plays a role mm-hmm. even when you are out there and out there alone. yes yes it yes. also impacts the choices too, too. it the majorly choices. majorly yes. does sometimes sometimes you can decide to put all that aside, aside yeah and do the opposite that's why i say there's no definition i'm not underestimating no i'm not underestimating yeah, yeah yeah you can put everything aside and go and you see like my my upbringing, for example. Yeah. I grew up in the military days. Everything is military. Okay. Every, the approach to everything is military. The only thing left was that they didn't even give us rank and uniform. <laughs> we were just high soldiers. <laughs> when I was going to university, I, my parents never have to tell me. Yeah. Not to drop court. And nothing like that. Not even me, there was nothing like that. Yeah. No, 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 no. You don't need your room. You know, the home you are coming from, there was nothing like nothing that. Nothing like that. I just went to school like that. And like, Before you come to tell me about courtism and all that, I, I don't even see. Even if I join that, your courtism, I will be, I will negate all the pressure. <laughs> I will not be able to function there. Yes. <laughs> you I understand? understand. My it mind is not in. My mind was there. Anytime you, anytime you see me, I was looking for how to retain. Yeah. Commit everything I have been taught to my brain, okay. Like cramming it, so I have too much. I, too much there was no time for any like distraction. I you understand. Drive me to that court. No, there was no time. I'm reciting what I want to write in my exam there, so I'm not going to function. It's true. So if you have, if your upbringing has built in that way, right? so you need to you need to even live the kind of life. Yeah. Right? That will put doubts in the mind of people who are coming to pressure you to yeah. whatsoever. Yeah. The yeah. moment they see it, I don't know. Yeah. Don't so let's take let's take this home. Yes, sir. Now, what's the best way the parents can raise their child to be good? For me, yeah, let I me go you. first. Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm asking everybody on the table. I'll go around. But for me first, I would say is they say in my language, Alimaka Chuku Kugijo Akamagbo. Chukui moto. It means which language? Igala <laughs> language. Igala language. It means yeah, it means. Yeah, it's an language. Let's say if a, say, if a parent sees something and doesn't say it, it's dead to the parents. But if the child is told and it does not listen, it's dead to the child. Yeah. So for me now, I would say, once you give birth to the child, anything you see that is wrong that the child is doing, start correcting it. Yes, for him. Because even the Bible says, train up a child in the way you should yeah. go. And then there's a saying that says. You can only change the direction of the tree when it is small. Yes, when once it's it just grows, you when it's close, you cannot come and operate it and okay, yes. face this direction. So I would say, parents out there, upcoming parents like me now, like most of us on this table, yeah, yeah. upcoming parents, mm-hmm. when you see a wrong thing, correct the wrong thing. So by seven, let's go this way. By seven. Okay. Uh, well, well, that, I want to also do my language. Have that too. If one know. That is, when you are told something, you don't listen. Neguigosh kills children. Then Afro to Neguigosh, that is, you see and you don't talk. That one is for elders. Yeah. That one affects elders. It kills them. Yeah. Then they say something and you don't listen. That one kills the children. No, I think that is almost it's correlating. Yes. It's, 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 that's it's, what I'm from everyone. That's what I'm saying. English, you have to let me speak my language. So, <laughs> So, um, children should listen to their parents. It's very terrible. The truth is that your parents couldn't have, you know, conspired to see you fall. Yeah. At all. Yeah, at, all. Least, at least you have that assurance. So, that parental assurance is there that your parents are looking out for your good, okay? Yeah. That is why you should listen to them. Whatever it is you are going outside to get knowledge, information, whatever it is, the books you are going to read to find answers to questions uh, is neither here nor there. It can be positive or negative. But for your parents, except maybe they are involved in witchcraft. <laughs> That's really exception. Like that, the, 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 you, that is why you should listen to your parents. Then the, the others will just be um, circumstances and all that will take care of the rest. Okay. So in your law. Yeah, so fortunately I also have um uh, a proverb <laughs> in my own language. <laughs> so they say in Yoruba at Kekeri Latin Yeah. Which means the yeah, so. earlier you tame something, mm. the better. Yeah. So 
I, I think there, there are different paradigms when it comes to parenting. Mm. So it is better you choose which one works for you. You said something about um, military, military. Yeah. You could have possibly gone to school that time and say, okay, it is that court that we join. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. It does not necessarily mean that, okay, this is going to uh, assure them at home that I won't join, but I can't. So choose the one that works for you. But in most, yeah or in hall rather yeah. make sure it is in love okay. you yeah. show all that you yeah. 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 okay for me i believe being a parent is an opportunity to rewrite the wrongs some of your parents like my parents didn't do for me yeah, okay. because the truth is as we age things change and a lot of things transform like you meet a new world you meet an innovation so some of the things you wish your parents did for you i love what parents i even said they said forgive your parents now that is an opportunity for you like handed it back and over to me so it's left for me now to do it right and as an upcoming parent one thing i know i will do is i will allow my kids talk and hear them out and allow them be them but at the same time i would train them on the right path even if they're trying to be themselves hmm. okay right. For a rap, our advice that uh, parents should be listening ears to their kids and they should not focus on one gender. The society focuses so much on on the girl child. I think, I think I forgetting, forgetting, so forgetting, you. forgetting that um a properly raised girl child can get ruined by a properly raised this boy. boy. Nothing stops that man from washing plates. Mm. Nothing stops that man from assisting the mom in the kitchen. If your sister mm. is washing plates, you are watching television in the kitchen, crossing your leg. The society focuses so much on the girl child, neglecting the boy child. And after raising this girl child, these same boys tame them. So in a nutshell, the parenting should come together and we it's love and not them. just a single parenting. Once the dad is absent, there's a place my dad will shout when we're younger, hey, stop. Your mom can't do that. She felt that pain in the labor. And sometimes she she have that unconditional love for you. So mm. that urge to correct woman there. Your father comes so in there because he didn't feel that bad. No, 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 no. But my father is revived. He's revived. I understand that. Dad to mom, dad to the baby girls, mm. then mom to the boys. But most times there's an unconditional love your mom and you have because you are directly connected to her on the optical cord. Nobody, I repeat, nobody will love you like your mom and oh. as same as your dad. But more importantly, your mom. So I advise that it shouldn't be single parenting. Like you give birth, um, you got somebody pregnant, you run away. If if it's only just one person, there will be lack. And once these people go and outside, the they, they affect other kids in school, in church, and all of that. And this problem is generational. So yeah. there should be co parenting and they should focus on the both gender. It's parent. Thank, Thank you. you. That's all on this episode of Let's Talk About Tomorrow. Now you can kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel at Enterprise TV 7 and follow us at the same handle across all social media. Now, Choma, Nathaniel, yeah, Inyoluwa, and Bryce Evans, mm -hmm. it was nice to have you. This My was pleasure. a very educative and informative episode now catch you later bye enterprise tv a tradition of truth